Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Luby and Legacy PvP video. And today I'm gonna to showcase this team. This team looks relatively good, except there is one obvious little problem with this team. Can y'all see it? It is quad weak to Earth. So if there's any Earth types that I go up against, like Borok, then my team is utterly dead. So yeah. This is going to be very interesting. I think I'm going to bring a Kazune because I have specialty dudes. Although I might have to sack a bunch of team members for the Boron. Which is a little scary. Or I hypnotize it. Which, yeah, I do have two Diborgs. I don't. I think there's only six Lumians which are quad weak to Earth. So yeah. There's also a Harvest Sack which, yeah, that's not good. I don't want to bring you. I'll bring... I'll bring Billiforge. Alright, that'll be what I bring. You'll lead off a Borok? No, Wendelin lead. Darn, I actually did not predict Wendelin lead. I could just go for Hypnotize. That's not a bad option. I could also barter it. I was trying to think, what is the best decision for me? To be fair, I do have a Billiforge, but... I also don't, I don't necessarily want to lose Billiforge to Windaloon. Especially if I could hypnotize it or barter it, which I'll barter. Darn, dang it. That's not good. What item do I get? Power Cuffs. Oh, so I hit a little harder, that's good. Dazzling Barrage won't do that much. Unless it hits all five times, but okay. I'll just go for a bag of tricks then. Darn, that sucks. The fact that it got that off. Submerge. Hey, it will miss me. Also, Bag of Tricks goes before priority. Oh no, because it's Heavy Shackles. Ha 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 let's go. Heavy Shackles. Dub. Oh. Oh, yeah. Cannibal. A critical hit. Let's go. Well, I have an idea. Hypnotize. We'll hypnotize you. How about that? Okay, we hypnotize the cannibal. Well, that's good. I can go into Ikazune. Although that's a little scary. I don't know. Do I just go into Hunter and go for Thunder? I'll go into Hunter. Because Cannibal will not wake up on this turn. And decisions are gonna have to be made. Some decisions are gonna have to be made. <laughs> now, alright, decisions are gonna have to be made. Do I go for the Thunder Chomp? I have to. As much as I want to predict Bora, I don't want Cannibal to stay alive and then lose Hunter. I have to be predictable here. Dang, he went into Bora. No, he didn't. He went into Par. That's even worse, actually. That's even worse, actually. And I don't know how to beat the Harvest Set. Especially, yeah, you are, you gotta be Earthquake. I don't see how this could possibly not be Earthquake, so I'm just gonna weaken the Harvest Set. So yeah, two Earthquake Limians. Oh, it's Soul Harvest? Really? Soul Harvest? Well, I'll throw some barbs down. Okay, you do have Earthquake. Then why didn't you do that in turn one? Also, that Earthquake did no damage. What the heck? Jeez, okay. That Earthquake did no damage. I just don't think anything else could live the Earthquake, so I might as well just go for a string steel to damage the Harvest Set. So, yeah, I, I'll just damage it. I kind of am not sure how to play the Cyrodiil, honestly. So yeah, we'll just do that. Oh, I got the burn. All right. That's big. Getting the burn on Harv. That's a huge deal. I'll take that. We'll go for another set of barbs. Earthquake will not do that much damage. Oh my gosh. I lived multiple quad effective hits on Seer Knight. That is insane. I think it also just shows you how good Seer Knight is. Now, I could save the Seer Knight. I really could save the Seer Knight. But... I don't think it's going to be that useful with whatever he has left. Would it be good to limit the damage from the Borok? Yes. 
but I don't think that's the best option. When I could just do this, and I can go into Ikazune and flash and flee out. Because I think I have an idea. I'll go into Ikazune, and I'll flash and flee out into... And I'll flash and flee out into my... Yeah, I'll flash and flee into... I think I'll go into Dibord. Because if I can go into Dibord, I can get... I can get one attack off. Which is a big deal. I can get an attack off. I can go for a bag of tricks. And that's so the Borok does not come in for free. Because yeah, this whole team is quad weak to earth. Oh, this last one's Drago died. Oh, okay. Well. I guess I'll bag of tricks. I, I don't want to hypnotize because it. All right, I'll take that. I'll take the thunder slam. Yes, I'll take the thunder slam. Do I live? I don't think so though. Darn, it'd have been nice if I lived that, but unfortunately, I don't live it. So that kind of stinks. I'll go for the Ikazune play here and go for a uh, fire breath. Because again, I don't want to give Hunter. Not Hunter. Oh, I should have flashed and played. Flash and Flea would have been the best play there. Oh, please just go Bora. No, he knows. He knows. That did no damage, and it waked up. Well, kind of funny that a lot of the Lumians, which are weak to Earth, are also weak to Water. So he has a Pillow Forge. What is his last move? Oh. This last one's got to be more. I have to go into Billow Forge here. I have to sack Billow Forge to Canabo. Dang it. I really don't want to do this, but it looks like I have to do this. Wave Wrecker. Ow. So much damage. So much destruction. So much damage. Earthquake. Wave Wrecker. Ow. I just don't know what the play is. You gotta be a specialty dude's cannibal. Those O oh, and ifs or butts around it. I'll go for a flash and flay because that should take out the cannibal. I hope it does. Thank God. I can go into Hunter. Harvesex's dead. Cannibal's dead. Wendelin is slow. Hunter is his last one. Okay, Hunter's there. Personally, I should save. Her I am gonna go into Ikazune. And that's so I can fire breath. Save the Hunter. Yes, there's a play chomp. And that's free energy! Let's go! I am shocked he did not bring Bora. I don't know why he did not bring the Bora. Because I know his last few Lumians. He has Wendelin, who's slow. He has... Dragodyne. Yeah, Dragodyne and Wendelin are his last two. He did not bring Borok. I am generally shocked he did not bring Borok. That is insane to me that he did not bring Borok. I'll just go for a Fire Breath here. Oh, okay, he's just Shadow Sprinting. We should be fine. Okay, it does a lot of damage, but we're fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. As long as I don't get credit, we'll be fine. Okay, W just attacked. W GG's. His last one is Drago. Unless he's the one dodge Drago dying. We should be No, even then Hunter outspeeds it. We're fine. Hunter outspeeds it. So we should be okay. That we were kinda lucky in that battle. He only brought the Harvest And he did not bring the Bora, even though all my Lumians are quad weak to it, so. I was generally lucky in battle number one with the full team that was quad weak to earth. Well, I did a battle number two, and knowing my luck, people probably watch this battle and they're gonna bring a full team of earth types. But hey, let's see what we could do in battle number two, because this one was a huge dub. All right, battle number two with the full team quad weak to earth, and I don't see any earth type moves besides Gargolem Speed. Which, okay, that is kind of scary, actually. <laughs> yeah, Gargolub Speed outspeeds everything. So, 
there is one thing I'm gonna have to do to not make the Gargolem speed be dangerous. And I think y'all know what I'm going to do. Alright, but for everything else, you look awesome. You look amazing, Thor. Cosmiar is not so good. Oh no, I have this thing. We're fine. We have metal types. It's not gonna bring Cosmiar when there's metal types. Uh, there's a Protagon, though, which that's a little bit concerning. By the way, this is my offensive health antic, not my stall one. I'll bring you. Yeah. Because you could actually soak a Garlash hit. So, I'll lead off with you to predict Gargolem speed. Awesome, because you have Earth type moves and can probably one shot everything on my team. So, get bartered. I hope he doesn't know. Yes! Now I don't get utterly swept by a Gargolem speed. Oh, I still have Scotch Mushy! Yes! 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 I outspeed you. Yes, I took his clutch plushie! W, now give me an ice type move. Brilliant. Brilliant, Dibor. Oh. Oh. I, I don't have a clutch plushie, but I can't get rid of that. Uh, really? He's just gonna sit up three layers of barbs. Okay, no, he just KOs me. Okay. Alright. Alright, we get the force out the Gargolem speed with Hunter. But yeah, you got a layer of barbs up, which sucks. I wish I got a nice tight move out of that, but I didn't. Yeah, I'm still going for the Jelly Chomp. He's gonna save his Gargolem speed for later, because yeah, he knows. My whole team's weak. Oh, he's Bar Blast! That's like my favorite Lumion in the entire game right now. Oh my gosh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? I'm gonna Thunder Chomp you. I don't care. Please two shot. Okay, two shots. I don't get a flinch, but I think I live one. Eh, yeah, I do. Now, I gotta make a predict. I don't want to predict. Big mistake. Dang it, Gargolem. He's trying to waste all my energy. I'll just Mega Chomp. No! No, no, no! Okay, I still did half. But dang it. That really sucks. That Bar Blast is looking really bad now. I gotta go into something like... I gotta go into- I gotta go into Ikazune. Dang it. That sucks a lot. He's saying how OP speed form is, even though everything is quad weak. I'll just flash and play. Please just take it out. Well. Well, we're F. I don't think there's any chance of winning this battle. I don't think anyone is winning this battle. I don't think we're winning this battle anymore. Yet, yeah, I don't think anyone is winning this battle anymore. I personally think the Gargolem is out of energy, so I will do something. There is one thing I will do to scavenge this battle. I think he's out. I don't think he can go for a landslide, so I'll go for one barbs. I'll go for one bar. He had enough for one move. Did he really have enough for one? Well then, it's official we can't win anymore. Like, I tried to predict! I, of course he had exactly enough. Like, we can't win anymore. There's nothing we can do. Freaking Bar Blast wins. And honestly, just screw Bar Blast. Screw Bar Blast and Gargolem. They're so good together. Most of my battles I lose are always... Yeah, I wish I got rid of that Gargola. Maybe if I got rid of that Gargola, maybe Hunter and Ikazune would have swept. But unfortunately, it's just not how it goes. I try to be smart. I try to predict. But they just Unga Bunga stay in and I lose the battle anyway. So that's a GG's. This battle stunk. But hopefully next battle goes a little better. 
I think that last battle just showed what Earth types can do to us. And unfortunately, there are two Earth types, three potential Earth type moves, and a Tyronic. So, right off the bat, this battle is already impossible. So, yeah. This battle is already impossible. The only way I can see us winning this battle is hypnotizing him, and him, and him. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be fun. This battle is going to be extremely fun. I'll bring Serenite because I kind of have to. Tyronix is going to be awful. Tyronix is just going to be flat out awful. I go. I could bring Tubes, but you know what? I might actually do. I might bring both Tyronixes. Stop Tyronix. Both Divorgs. I can't bring you. you. You don't even look good anyway. So yeah, I'll bring. I'll lead off with you. Hopefully, you lead off with like I don't know what to do. There, I I look like I think I'm gonna lose this battle as well. Now, okay. Lumion Legacy, please give me a little RNG and give me at least this. Dang. Okay. I get a hypnotize off, and I'm gonna steal. I'll save this for later. And I'll go into Seer Knight to give you a minus one melee attack. I'm hypnotizing the Tyrex. That's the play here. I hope that's the right call. There we go. Staunch! Yes, the one staunch Tyrex. I'll ever, and I mean ever battle, of course, staunch Tyrex, specifically to beat this team. The minus one would have made Seer Knight live a hit, but instead it won't make it live anymore. So what do I do? I guess I'll just place a layer of barbs and hope for the best, but I don't know what to do any Boy swapped out, thank gosh. Thank goodness. I don't even care you went in the harvest sec. I and I know this thing has earthquake, but I don't even care you went into this because guess what? I'm not getting swept by a Tyrex at the start. And I can actually throw a raging flame on this. Alright, I hit both status so far. Problem is I can't really make a swap out. And that actually did a lot more than I anticipated. Yeah, this, this Harvest Act is more offensive. I'll place a layer of barbs down, though. So I'll do that. I'll place a layer of barbs. And then I'll attack the Harv and do a little bit of damage to it. I'll get my milkshake after this turn. Like, let's be honest. That Tyrex is staunch. So, I, I just gotta get rid of the Earth types. If I can get rid of the Earth types, maybe there's a shot to win the battle. There is... I'll go for Searing Steel just to damage the Harv. Please do enough. Oh my gosh, that did no damage. That did no damage. Oh no, that did no damage. Ikazune's not gonna do enough. I can tell already. Ikazune's gonna do nowhere near enough. It's not gonna do enough damage. It's not enough damage at all. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's one swap out. I uh, just don't para. For goodness sake, just don't para. Okay, it earthquake again. Can I live? Thank gosh, tank. Thank you, tank. And he dies with a burn. Alright. Okay. That's actually relatively huge. Tyrex takes a little bit of barbs damage. Going into Ikazune, it takes a little bit of barbs damage. Alright. That is perfectly fine. Tubes lives, which is good. Helvantic for free, though. Helvantic is not nice. Honestly, that's really not nice. Especially after an aggressive boost. I can't really necessarily lose tubes, neither. 
But I also can't lose a Kazune nor Hunter. So, I don't know what to do here. Like, what can I do? Hypnotize it? But I kind of can't do that. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have sacked Seer Knight so fast. Like, it's going to go for a Gnarly Gash. It's going to go for the Gnarly Gash. I don't know what to do here. Gnarly Gash. Are you kidding? Could have went in a Kazune for free. Aw, that sucks. Could have went in a Hika. And now it's a plus one. Yeah, plus one. Alright then! Okay, alright then! Alright! Well, we're breaking sleep claws. Kind of funny that we're breaking sleep claws. Kind of funny. But in this particular situation. No, he went back into Tyrex. No. No, no, no. I'll go into Ikazune here. Because that's two turns of sleep. Are you kidding? There's no way it got up in one turn. There is no way Tyrex got up on two turns. There's no way that just happened. Like, there's no way that... Can I get a flinch? I need one flinch. Oh, come on! Lame! Absolutely lame! Well, I now gotta rely on an RNG machine to win. So, my odds of winning is just dramatically dropped. Can I at least take out the Tyrex? Okay, I take out the Tyrex. Is there any way for an RNG machine to win? Can an RNG machine win? Yes, Helvantic, which I can hypnotize. I can hypnotize the Helvantic. But I need to hit my status attack. I hit it. That's one turn. I'll go for one power focus. And then I'll attack it. So I have enough for three bags of tricks. So I need these next three bag of tricks to one-shot you. Please. Really? Raging Flame? Really? I need this to one-shot. Steel Trap! These moves are useless! Well, he just woke up, and there goes the game right there. That's the game. Yup! Dang it! Like, to be fair, I knew that relying on RNG was not going to give us the win. But it could at least did better moves other than Raging Flame and Steel Trap. Like, Steel Trap might be the most useless move in the entire game. So yeah, that's, that's what happens when you use a full Earth-type team. You, one Earth-type sweeps your whole team, pretty much. So, yeah, that's what happens when you use a full team of Earth... Full team of Lumians, which are weak to Earth types. It went extremely well. And yes, I will be uploading the video. Don't you worry. So, yeah. That was a little bit of a fail, but this will show you. Uh, this video does show you that... Don't use a full team that's weak to Earth types. Because they will wreck your day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!